just feeding the girly girls, naughty girls. So we use this field here and this field here for sheep, just to keep them tidying over and we go through. The only thing is that there's no gate in this fence at all. To take them out of here into the big main cow pasture, which will have cows running around, take them all the way around and then in there. And it's a pain in the ass. So I've just brought some wire cutters. I'm just gonna cut a big hole in the fence. That's my theory anyway. How like literally saturated the ground is from all the rain last night. This is crazy. This is like the middle of winter. Field shouldn't look like this at this time of year. Well, I'm just waiting for these girls to realise that they can enter. Look how much drier this is. Are you ready? Like actually dry. And then watch how wet this one is. And this one's higher. And this one's higher. Right, I'm just going to walk around the field. Roy's going to get some more snack for the sheep because I only brought one bag like an idiot. Instead of two, I'm going to walk around the field and just make sure... Everyone's upright and there's no lambs led in bushes because they do things like that. You come to me, come on, come on, come on. I was waiting for you to all have your snackles. Come on. Here, yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you the way. Follow me, everything is all right. I'll be the one to touch. Uh, yeah. Roy's coming back with snack and I've just let all the sheep through. I'm in trouble. I bet I get told off. I bet you I get told off. Can't park there, sir. <laughs> what are you doing? Listen to your head when you lost your heart. Such hungry girls. Do you let it go? Do you do what you want when you never know? This is the cow that had milk fever yesterday. The calf seems absolutely fine. This is the hopper. Doesn't quite fit in a full bag because. Uh, quite full at the feed store and it needs greedy boards on so we put the bag on the floor we fill it from the top with the buckets for the calves when it's half full we'll put it in the hopper This is done every day. We scrape now, clean the front of the beds off all the way along here. This is just one day. This was done yesterday just before Ollie got here. And now look at it. And then we'll feed them. Store the carving boxes and sort that cow out in the back. Um, we do not store the beds during the day. We store them at night. If you watch my channel, you will know this because I keep telling you. So this is the feed passage. As you saw before, I think I videoed a bit of uh, feeding them. This was scraped an hour ago. I'm not quite sure how um, clean people expect a farm to be, but it's um, unreasonable and I don't mind saying so. As you just saw Roy scraping, in there, it comes out of this envelope here. and then just takes it literally round and dumps it in the middle. As you can see, the bobcat can only get so high and we can only stack that um, SH1T so high. 
The Merlot's coming really handy for that because we can literally get right up onto the top of it and stack it as high as we want. Ow. What happened? What happened? Hey? Oh. Come on. Come on, I'll take you in. Belt in lamb as well. Hey, come on. Come on. Forty, number 40 is early on. You should be well away, big lad. You shouldn't be getting stuck. So I've brought him in. Him, her in. <coughs> Sorry, I've got straw in my throat. I've given it a nice little bed and I've propped her up here. Um, can't. I don't. I just don't know. Honestly, I haven't got a clue. Um, normally, if it's a sheep casting, you stand it up, hold it for a minute, and kind of let it go. It's all right. But I don't know how long that lamb's been there. It's not that cold to be honest it's quite warm i don't know it could have just happened but i doubt it now keep an eye it isn't it doesn't it doesn't look empty though so i've put it in with pet lambs hi guys just in the corner over there pet lambs like buckets if anyone didn't know i started something and now i can't stop um i left that blue bucket in one day and then I came back and they're all sleeping it. And I thought, oh, that's so cute. Um, so I put a few more buckets in and now the pet lambs sleep in buckets. I've made sheep sleep in buckets. What am I going to do when they're fully grown? They're not going to find a bucket to fit, are they? Pet lambs might annoy it, but do you know what? It's not actually a bad thing because they'll keep poking at it. Um, which is all I'd do if I was stood here. So they're doing me a job. This is just not ideal. Down me neck, down me neck. Hath escapeth whilst I was sorting that lamb out. They're not meant to be in here, they're meant to be up there in that field and over there in that field. Put some new lamb nuts in because they've got a bit clinging there. You just eat that, you eat that. Oh, tasty, tasty. Ah! Not one of Roy's best ideas to give the sheep this. I'm feeding the sheep lamb pellets from cars um they love them like they proper love them so putting those in the quick feeders um your information yeah naughty like really naughty and everybody loves you feeding the local bird population with brewer's grain. Good deed for the day done. He's at the brewery and he's getting, look, really, really wet. It's 
the chopping board. No, I keep telling you all about burgers. It is DJ for burgers tomorrow. Um, don't know how much of burgers I will cover. Um, I know it's not palatable, but it is farming. Do you know what I mean? I'm a little bit like, mm, I don't know how far is too far. Just moving some um, cows, gel cows out of here um, to Rose Dad's house because that's where they are fed a lot more. Um, and we want, Rose just gone to put the trailer on. We want to reverse it straight in there. So I'm going to shift that scraper so we can get in. Farmer's best friend, Bailey Twine. Comes with the Valtara, let's make it look epic. apologize for shouting and being too loud and taking up space mm -mm, mm -mm. shall we pretend this is going smoothly shall we pretend stop ah if it's an inch or 10 inches you still gotta get back on the tractor anyone want to think you're really unfit We've just brought them back on the load here to pick burgers up because they're just looking a little bit lacking, a little bit skinny. They're both geld so they could be fed up because there's a lot more hard feed and um, brewer's grains and barley and stuff going on here than there is at home. Your family, your family, don't fight. Just going to back stock box up. Apparently if he can't see, if I can't see his mirrors, he can't see me. I don't know what that means. I'll just wave and holler. Little pen behind the handling system. And Burgers is waiting very patiently in here. So it was a very, I'll have a picture of it somewhere. It was like a tiny dwarf heifer thing. Anyway, it never grew enough to be bald. So we said, ah, oh, we'll fatten it up. Anyway, it's taken that long to fatten it up. And now it is massive. It's the size of a cow, but you don't know when something's been slightly dwarfish and small, if it's hips and narrow, that kind of thing. It just wasn't suitable to bull. Burgers. Right, kids, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that usual um, banter. So, I'm just going to go out and check on baby lamb in the stable and see how it's getting on. I haven't actually looked, to be honest. Um, it could be stone dead or it could be recovering. I don't know. And I don't know which way it was going to go either. I did not know what to do. It's not like an infection that you could treat with antibiotics or. Um, or it was hungry that you could treat it with food. It's something that I just, I, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if I did the right thing. I don't know. So I am just going to go out, check on baby lamb, and then I will go and straw the big cow shed out, um, which is loose housing, as you all know, because you watch the channel. Um, thanks for um, Mr. Grassman2746757 off the um, farming forum for trying to make out that we don't straw our cows enough. You clearly don't watch the channel because, um, yeah, it's in pretty much every video when we straw the cows, how we straw the cows, how much we straw the cows, how much straw we use, um, how much the straw costs, for one. I just don't know how um, an innocent video of Ollie coming and visiting could have resulted in me being the topic of conversation on Farin Forum again for yet again something negative. It's never for anything good, is it? It's always for something negative because that's the way it rolls, you see. It went from your beds are dirty, you left your shear grab open. Um, what else was there? Oh, I don't know how you do it. You're making a spectacle of yourself. I enjoy 
making a spectacle of myself. I enjoy the creativity of making a video. Some of you will go on holiday. Some of you will get pissed at night. Some of you will play golf. Some of you will go to the gym, play tennis, paint, read, whatever. Highly doubt it in their case. But I enjoy making videos and I enjoy posting them on the internet. That is what I enjoy. And I don't drink, I don't smoke, I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm just showing you our lives and what we do. And I don't know how that can be construed into anything negative. But do you know what? Crack on, because as Ollie says, any publicity is good publicity. I know a load of you thought you were giving me the heads up by sending me these things. In future, don't, please. I don't want to know, I don't care. For those of you who do enjoy the effort and time that I put in, which is an awful lot of it, Thank you very much. I appreciate each and every single one of you. I really do. Um, and yeah, just keep on keeping on. Don't let people get you down.